That's what I that, that was on my mind with the same kind of take you know go crazy or die. And we're a country that has done this before. Our banks have failed over and over, and we rebuilt out of what we can do, and we rebuild to a point we find that our currency is hollow and we crash. I, I was thinking about that too. Actually, okay. I was thinking about the economy um, for a little part of the time while I was watching the play. Just, you know, well, this is what's happened to us. Our, our circus burned down. And, um, and we're trying to get back to some semblance of that. Some of us are. Others are trying to get on to something new and, and, and step into the dark. And um, it seems to me also, maybe because you're from Texas, that um, <laughs> you see that we are a house divided right now. And um, some of us believe uh, it's every man or woman for himself or herself. And uh, others are still clinging to what Benjamin Franklin said, um, we had better hang together or assuredly we will all hang separately. Um, but, um, those of us who think like that thought we were in the majority only a year or so ago. Now we feel like we're being squeezed. Anyway, these are thoughts that came to me as I watched your play. Something that you did uh, doesn't necessarily relate to what I was just saying, but what I really liked was um, making the darkness up into a living thing. There's almost no life around in this play. It's even the sun that gives all life, not God, the sun. Okay, <laughs> and, um, but but um, uh, it's gone. So, um, uh, but the darkness itself is alive. You can put your hand into it. I love that metaphor, that that, that imagery, and also. Um, I, I like that when you said that the past is alive, and so uh, many people have said the past is alive, but very few people that I know of have said the future is alive, and you even had a line in there about that.